Hello there, Taurus. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of April 18th through the 24th. What I have coming up for you on Monday, Taurus, is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is just telling me that on Monday you are interacting with somebody who is um, very well balanced emotionally. She knows how to express her emotions very well. And I feel like on Monday, she is going to be talking to you about feelings. For most of you, this will be a female. For some of you, it will be a male. I never nail down genders in general readings. And by the way, this is a general reading, which means that not everything that I say is going to apply to every single tourist that watches this video. Most of it will apply to most of you. Okay, so Queen of Cups, um, I do feel like she's going to be letting you know how she feels about things. And I think that she is just going to be um, kind of sharing just the tip of the iceberg. I don't think that she's going to be actually telling you everything that she's feeling. I think she's going to be kind of testing you out to see how much you can handle. <laughs> and she's going to watch your response or your reaction to the things that she says before she decides if she's going to go any deeper with those things or not. Um, let's see, and I have a feeling for a lot of you, uh, your reactions are going to be something that makes her feel like um, she can't fully share those emotions or those feelings with you. On Tuesday, what we have showing up is the Seven of Swords. What I'm hearing as I pick this card up is that this is talking about the picking up of pieces. So there's something going on where you're picking up pieces. And this card can apply to cleaning up the mess from a dinner party the night before, to maybe there was something that was said in a relationship that didn't work out so well. In fact, this very easily could be tied in with our Queen of Cups here where maybe she didn't feel like she could express her full feelings and then later on you were like, you know, I, I was a little too hard on you and going back and talking to her about about that a little bit. Um, but this can also be about um, really picking up the pieces in any way. This can be uh, maybe a project at work where things didn't go exactly as planned and so uh, picking up the pieces, regrouping and going forward. Maybe you made a presentation to the client and they like most of it but just not this or that piece or the other piece. So now back to the drawing board to improve what's already there. Something like that could be what's going on too. Um, in a general reading there are a lot of different ways that this could be happening for a lot of different Tauruses. So just the key you want to kind of have your mind open for when you're looking at Tuesday is where are you picking up the pieces? There's something in there about that. Now on Wednesday what we have coming up is the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords is the culmination of something and to me really this is um, I feel like for you guys this time, what the Ten of Swords is talking about is that you've had a lot of um, inner turmoil where your own thoughts have been going back and forth and you felt really tortured by this inner turmoil, this inability to make a decision. And um, I think also you've been sort of beating yourself up over this inability to make a decision about something and, and you haven't been able to make that decision because you really have mixed feelings about whatever this is. So with the Ten of Swords coming up, I feel like there's one final piece of information that comes into you that sort of tips the scale so that now you know which way you want to make your decision, which way you want to go with this. And so this is really the end of this battle or this inner conflict for you and you get to move forward from here. All right, so interesting that we have the Ten of Clubs coming up next. Two tens right next to each other is, you know, a ten is the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new, stepping forward into something new. So here we have the Ten of Clubs on Thursday, right after a Ten of Swords on Wednesday. So there was some decision that you made on Wednesday, ending an inner conflict inside yourself. And um, on Thursday, there's some kind of responsibility that you're picking up or handling. Um, this can even be taking that responsibility to a whole new level. So this can be um, taking your relationship to a whole new level and that may be what your decision was all about or it may not. It may be something completely different. But they do feel a little bit tied and that they both came up right next to each other. They're both tens. Um, so for some of you, I feel like they are tied together, but I don't have that feeling for everybody. So some of you it'll be tied together, some of you it won't. 
Um, but the Ten of Clubs just talks about picking up some kind of new responsibility. Now, for some of you, I feel like this is going to be a promotion at work. Or maybe you're not given a promotion. Maybe you're not given extra money along with it, but new responsibilities at work. Um, this can be something that's of a permanent nature, like a promotion. Or this can be something that is maybe somebody called in sick, and so you have to do that person's work and your work on Thursday, um, something like that. Also, this can be responsibility that has to do with family. So this could be uh, maybe you have a child that's starting violin lessons on Thursday and you're taking them to meet the instructor and all of that good stuff. Um, ba -bum -bum. Could be a lot of things. You get the idea. Responsibility, some kind of responsibility, either... Um, Either taking a relationship to a new level or um, starting some kind of new responsibility in general. And why do I say taking a relationship to a new level? I can hear some of you asking, how does that fit? <laughs> that fits because when you're at, say that you are just dating somebody and you've been dating for a while and you take the relationship to a level where you're dating each other exclusively, guess what happens there? Now you're responsible to that person that you're not going to be dating other people anymore. And then also, too, when you're dating exclusively, people tend to pick up responsibilities towards helping each other out in a relationship at that point. So it's even though it, it doesn't sound like new responsibility, guess what? <laughs> it is... All right, so Friday what we have showing up for you, Taurus, is, is we have the Two of Clubs. And the Two of Clubs is just talking about that you're making a decision on Friday between two things that you would like to participate in or move forward with. So while you've got this Two of Clubs here, what's going on is uh, maybe you have two dinner invitations or maybe you have two projects that you could be working on for your business or maybe you have um, two things you could be doing in the way of a hobby. Maybe you could be spending time with two different people um, and you have to decide one or the other. You don't have enough energy, time, or resources to uh, pursue both of these uh, opportunities. And so you have to set one aside and move forward with the other one. And I see you going ahead and making that decision on Friday. I don't see you having trouble with it or procrastinating on it. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing that some of you are literally flipping the coin for that decision. How funny is that? All right, so let's move on to Saturday. Eight of coins in reverse. I think some of you are relieved not to be working on Saturday. Um, this does come up as not working. So for those of you who are not, aren't normally scheduled on Saturday, um, you're not working. Not really a big surprise. Uh, but also, I feel like um, when this card comes up, you're also, if you have big plans for what you're going to do around the house on your day off, mm, not so much. Not going to be doing that. <laughs> this is more of a chill day. Now, a lot of times when I have this come up, I really see people just kind of laying on the hot couch and having their feet up and walking around in their slippers and their PJs. I'm not seeing that so much with this card. For some of you, I do feel like that's going to manifest, but mostly what I'm seeing is a relaxed day. Uh, for a lot of you, this is getting out by the water, getting out to beaches, um, doing fun stuff. I have people, there's big, there's a big water theme here. I, I, I see people walking through an aquarium, uh, <laughs> you know, and I see all kinds of water, not just water at the beach, but like creek water and lake water and pond water. So fishing and, and um, rafting and all kinds of good stuff. I mean, this just feels like a day of not doing work, of total complete relaxation. And it feels like it's it's for most of you, it's water themed. Uh, so it could be swimming. Um, but of course, I don't think it'll be water themed for all of you, even though I'm getting that really strong for the majority of you. I don't think it'll be water themed for all of you. I think some of you will just be taking a day to relax and just doing some fun stuff, having your own little version of adventure. All right, so let's move on. I think you guys get the picture. Sunday, what we have coming up is the Knight of Coins. And it's interesting that it comes up straight up after the Eight of Coins reversed because the Knight of Coins talks about being very careful with the budget and very careful with um, the cash flow. Maybe cash flow is a better way to say that. 
So Knight of Coins tells me, number one, you're not doing any impulse buying. Number two, retail therapy is not happening today. Number three, um, you're being very diligent about bringing money in. So if you're scheduled to work on Sunday, you're going to go to work. Um, if you have your own business, you're going to be working on doing things that will bring in cash flow for you there. Um, yeah, for some of you, you may just be writing out the bills and making sure that everything is all covered. Uh, but it's being very careful with that cash flow and being very diligent about um, making sure that everything is covered, whether that's uh, by being careful about where you're spending your money or whether that's creating more income. Um, I've seen it come up both ways, but it basically is just taking care of that cash flow. All right, so Taurus, that is your week. Thank you so much for stopping by and for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate everybody's support so much. Everyone have a fantastic, fantastic week, and I will see you all back here the next time. Peace out.